Hello, YouTube. Take today and fix my Simon X8C quadcopter. It was flying erratically, difficult to control. I have crashed it quite a few times, and I ordered. It's taken about five weeks to get here. A new control board off of eBay. This is the X88C. This is supposed to be an updated control board. It'll give you altitude hold feature. So we're going to work on disassembling this and installing the board. And let's get her done right now. now I'm already going to start here by removing the propellers. First, we'll just take these little caps, just pull off. I'm going to put them here. Everything I have a little magnetic tray, even though these aren't magnetic. I'm going to put them in. There's another one off. Okay, and then after you have that off, you have these little, I don't know, let me get focused in, these little white clips. And there's you just can give like a half a turn. And then after you give them a half a turn, there's a real fine pen. And I need a screwdriver to push that out. And it will just push out of there. No, except that it only goes out one way. And there we go. And there is the pen. They're small and that's going in my magnetic tray. And then that one can be lifted off, put to the side. And we'll repeat that on all these other ones. There's another one. Another prop off these little white clips I'm also going to just put in the tray. Oops, I dropped one. There's another pop off. Ah, right here it went. That was luck. Although I have extras. And one more of these. Okay, and there is our prop saw. Then we're going to turn it over. I'm going to lay a cloth down here and we're going to take and take the legs off. Alrighty, now we're going to be taking the legs off. The screws are, there's two of them in each one. Focus down here on the drone. Straighten that up some. Okay, and I'm using pH 1 bit on these on the legs, and then we're just going to turn those out. Actually, you can sit in the leg till we pull it off. Okay, and there's one of them off. Now, on these screws, the ones that hold the leg, have like this little pan head on them so they don't pull through when you tighten them up. I can remember, but if it's something there you want to put them to the side and label them separate, that's great too. And we'll do this again. The towel is also nice under it, besides not scratching the table. It is a place to, your screws in that fall, they don't go rolling as quick. And I'll take another one off.
Yeah, I had this drone apart about a month ago, put new motors in it. It's one thing I like with these Simons, you can buy perch for them, the perch are cheap. One of them deals, you almost say to yourself when you buy the perch, is it worth putting the perch in, but they're a lot of fun and I had, like I say, felt the choice there to spend a few more dollars on it. Okay, now we're going to take and remove the motor covers. On that, we're going to take and go to a finer Phillips head bed. How about this little set of screwdriver bits and that at Harbor Freight. It's a nice collection for working on RC cars, drones. And we're going on that. I think about this PH0 it's marked. I think it's about the right one. Yeah, that's normal. Actually, that's a little big. Let's bump it down to a there is a double zero here. Yeah, there it is. Let's try that once. That's too small. One, two. Ah. Try this again. Yeah, there it's coming out. There's, put that in our little magnetic tray. And there's one more here on each of these. And it's right down there where I'm turning. Okay, and there's one of those off. And I'm going to repeat that for the other ones. Now see there's only two screws in each one of these. I had to keep it, you can watch what I'm doing. That's one thing that is good, you can buy parts for these. And that's something, like I say, I've thought about upgrading into really expensive drones. But on that, other than props, landing gear, it doesn't seem parts availability is real good on them. And one more in this one. Now I want to be one stubborn one there. My screwdriver sank in. Have to tighten it up a little bit more. There, I think I got it. Yep, we got it. Yeah, that one was stubborn. Okay, and there is those off. Alrighty, next we're going to take and unplug the wires for the engines. This right there. And just repeat that for all four of them. That one's. There we go. There's that one. And one more here. Okay, then lay it back down, and we're going to first take out these screws right here. There's four of them, right underneath where the legs sat. Before I do that, you can laugh at this if you want, but it works good, I'm going to take my screwdriver and put a little dab of Vaseline, so hopefully when we turn them out, they'll pull back up out. If not, we can flip it over and dump them out. It might work and it might not. Yeah, and I had to go get another screwdriver. That other one wouldn't fit down this long reach in the holes here. And it didn't work. Sometimes that does and sometimes it don't.
try to keep my hands out of the way so you can watch. And by the way, these are supposed to be magnetic screwdrivers, but <laughs> it's not exactly grabbing it. Yeah, that one I'm sure is out, but it's not coming out either. Okay, let's see if we can carefully. That's why I hate to, that it didn't come out because when you turn it over, half the time you lose them. And there one came out of the hole. And maybe the other one. There's two out of the hole. That one came flying out. So let's see now. And I guess we'll take maybe the two of them. Now it's these two over here, maybe are still holding by a thread or two. Now let's try this again. Okay, and there's the other two out. All right, there we got those out. Now we're going to take. And there's two screws right here, and one, oh, there's actually another two, one on each side of the motor. So we'll take those out. Move this back a little bit. back to this. This seems to have a better bite to it. Yep, there we go. Can't have enough little hobby screwdrivers when you're working on drones or RC cars it seems. There we go. Put that in the tray. Then this one. Yeah, they are going to have to use this one again because I can't get down in. It sits down in too far to use that. Okay, luckily it's turning out. And this one here is going to be interesting because I guess when I crashed the drone, you can see it like bent back in over it. So let's see if I can get that. I might have to go get like a little pair of... Yep. Alrighty, I got that. Wasn't going to bore you with it on the camera, but and you can see here we're already starting to pull apart. Then we're going to repeat that for the other ones, take the screws out. And I looked, I didn't have any more. Only could I have wrecked it there and ended up with that pushed in against the screw. There we go, that one came out nice. Now that's right back to the other screwdriver on this one. I can see it already pulling apart. Okay. Oh yes, and I did forget. I have most of mine's missing. These sit on the end in place of the prop guards. I did. I only have, I think, two of them, and forgot to pull those out. And then here is one in place here yet. Or if you have prop guards, that's where they'd be. I personally, prop guards, every time I use them, they seem to be a tree magnet, I swear. It just pulls them in, and then they'll for sure hang in a tree. Crashing the drone's bad enough, but I sooner crash to the ground and have to fight to get it out of a tree. I've done it about three times, and again, it's, it's just better off if it goes the whole way down. Okay, keep taking these out. And 
connector or smaller screwdriver. Yeah, that other one works way faster, but unfortunately I can't get down how these again sit in. They sure did put enough screws in these, eh? They are actually well made drone for the price. One here. And then one more side here. Ready? And I think, well, carefully here, we're about ready to come apart. And I still have one here is apparently holding a little bit. I feel it actually starting to pull apart now as I'm turning on this. And this one a little bit yet. And again, we're going to try to lift this because I couldn't get all of them out so they don't go flying the screws. This one must be holding a little bit yet. Probably from the other time I had it apart, probably the screw heads are sort of rounded. But yeah, that's common. Maybe. There's one screw yet. Uh -huh. Have another screwdriver here to try. Try this one. Mm -hmm. It's sure not holding by much, but it's holding. Maybe. Possible. Ah, I forgot one on the outside edge here. That's, we'll do it every time. Now, there we go. We can lift this up carefully here and get this clear of this other motor. Oh, and there's another one I forgot. There we go. And I'm not going to flip this over because again those screws are in there so I make sure I'm ready to catch them. And there, those motors, since I'm not changing the motors, that can stay in place. I'm going to grease the gears and that up good on the reassembly video. Like I said, this is going to be disassembly and then I'm going to do a video on reassembly of the SIMA. But this Alrighty. We're next going to unsolder the wires to go to the motor. But before doing that, I just wanted to take and show you a close-up here of the circuit board. Now, if you look here, 
and I have you gonna left this next thing but like this is marked uh, if I can focus in on it or not this is marked M1 positive and negative and this one is marked let me move this M2 negative and positive so what I did this is, like I say, my cute little drone. I guess you could just take a digital photo, but I took a picture, drew a picture of the drone, hence motor one, two, three, and four. And I can actually mark the front here, so, or mark rear. This is front. And like I say, that's the way we'll keep it all straight. And also, there's a little bit of hot glue. Well, they're actually, they were sort of sloppy with the hot glue where the LEDs hold in. It'll just heat it a little bit there, but probably, maybe even just pry it off. And this one here with the yellow and the red wire goes down to your on off switch. So we're going to desolder these, but I wanted to give you a good close up before we started desoldering. Alrighty, we're going to desolder these motor wires. And just real carefully, you don't want to burn the board, and it shouldn't take much. Just put the tip. Of course, I guess with this case, since we're not reusing the circuit board. Right there, that one's off. That one. And just keep doing that till we get them all. Watch our antenna wire. And there's that one. And there's that one. Got to be careful, don't burn yourself. There. 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 And one more. And there. Okay. Alrighty. Close up here after desoldering the wires where they were and I took and I made a label the number one for the number one the number two three and four which just coincides back down to the silly picture next this is optional but it works for me now we still got to get this hot glue and unhook the LEDs and uh, to the on-off switch. All right, I'm going to see if I can take and scrape this glue with this razor knife. Shouldn't take much. Then take and we'll slice it through here. Be careful, don't cut yourself. And see if I can just pick at it some. And we got a chunk off. See if it's ready to come out yet. Not quite. I think we're close. Okay, maybe work a little bit from the back edge. There's a big gob here. Yeah, I think we've got it coming off. Just get enough cleaned around it'll pull out. See now once. Yeah, there I got the ones for the front LEDs. And then see here, not quite yet, get the one for the power switch. Try to keep it focused there and just keep working with it. And I'll see here once. Uh -huh. Now I think maybe. Just a little bit more. And that's.
And right in here. Sort of hold down against when you're pulling it up. Not yet. I guess with this circuit board, it wouldn't per se hurt to, if you didn't do it right. But ha, there we got it. Okay. And then one more for the rear LEDs. That one looks like it should be pretty much out here cut and dry. And just trim around it. There that one come. That one wasn't that bad. Then we got to remove the four screws here to hold the circuit board to the drone. All right, and I can say there's four of these. Here once. Now we'll go get a smaller screwdriver bit. Alrighty, we went and got the smaller bit for a screwdriver. And these are also just sort of all in the league they're in these screws. They're extremely small, but they got like a, the flat like forcer built into the screw. And there, like I say, is four of those. There's the other one. there and one more and there's that one okay now that should be ready to lift up yep okay now we're going to take and All right, and there's screws for the switch. Sit down in here. There's only two of them. Let's see here. There we go. Just take and take those two out. Dump out of here. Yep, there they are. And then, last thing, and we're out, is just carefully this is your battery where the battery connects to it. Work that up out through right here. It sits between these two pieces of plastic. And it's a tight fit, but it will come out there. And our switch should with the screws removed yep and and just sort of same deal yep right there it's out of there and there's our control board and this is going to be a two-part video and the next part we're going to be doing the reassembly so be sure to watch uh, this video and the uh, follow-up thank you